y'all so i have made it to vegas and i'm leaving the airport right now so headed to the hotel shortly all right so now to go get my player's card i like being a diamond member you feel like royalty they treat you really special and stuff like that all right here we go right here Oops, excuse me I don't. I didn't pick up a uh, get a card. Isaiah, yes, ma'am. Not some money. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. So you can already see. So I have my uh, Caesar's Diamond status. So already I've gotten zero resort fees. They have taken off. Um, yeah, so taking off the resort fees, I got two free tickets. I got one free ticket to the real real bodies exhibit. I got another ticket to the high roller. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and there's other bonuses as well. All right, guys. So we got our Caesar's Diamond status cards. This is how you get treated like royalty in Vegas. At Caesar's be a diamond member. Uh, I already got two free tickets to uh, real body exhibit and then two free tickets to high roller. So I got those to use, which is cool. And no resort fees. Bunch of cool perks. Time to go to the hotel room. Let's see, I don't know my room number. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all my, but I'm gonna get to some light. My 22, or well, my $10 a night hotel room in Vegas. Uh, as a diamond member, let me show you what we got real quick. It's a really pretty nice hotel room for, especially for 10 bucks a night, you can't beat that. So this is my room. Here's the bathroom. Pretty nice, pretty clean. Nice shower. And then what I like about hotel rooms in Vegas, a lot of them have plenty of space. You can see I have a king size bed. I have this couch set up, desk, TV. And I even have a balcony I can so never mind I can't use a balcony apparently they put this little thing right there I don't even know how they did that because it's on the outside of the building doesn't make sense but can't use the balcony apparently but this is the view not of the main strip the main strip is a street over but this is you know the view I have here which is not too bad but yep this is it all right guys so what is there to do in Vegas if you don't want to drink gamble your life away or you know party hard you can still have fun in Vegas so tomorrow I want to show you guys some activities that you guys can do in Vegas um, if you don't want to do those other things so obviously we all know we can gamble we can drink we can party stuff like that but if you don't want to do those things there's still more to be done so one there's a lot of good food you can eat so if you're like me I love to eat out I'll be showing you guys that a little bit tonight I'm gonna probably find some more good to eat um, tonight I'm also gonna go to an exhibit called real bodies and I'll probably be hitting up uh, the high roller Ferris wheel because they gave me free tickets with my diamond status which I'll talk a little bit about a little more about at the end of this video but so tomorrow I'm gonna plan some activities um, I'm looking right now to see exactly what I want to do I'm probably gonna end up I'm highly considering skydiving tomorrow uh, rock climbing and a, maybe one other activity depending on, depending on how much I can fit in the day so I have all day tomorrow to try to you know make some things happen um, Last time I came here in February, I went hiking as well um, and just kind of went to, I went to the uh, Hoover Dam. So there's sightseeing. There's a lot of stuff you can do here in Vegas. Um, so tomorrow is going to be a really fun-filled activity day. I've never been skydiving. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do as my main activity. And then I've seen some rock climbing. Right now, I'm just honest, I'm on Groupon looking to see what kind of deals I can get on activities. So I'm going to buy up a couple of things. You can also go um, dune buggy riding pretty much like in the desert or four-wheelers so that might be an activity I don't know how much I'm gonna do I'm trying to uh, just get some ideas it's just me like I said I'm solo tripping this so I'm just trying to find some things to get into tomorrow to show you so that'll be on the second half of this vlog tonight like I said I'll be doing going out to eat checking out the real bodies exhibit and the high roller um, Ferris wheel so I'll bring you guys along for all that stuff uh, hopefully I can bring the camera in the museum where they exhibit whatever show you guys a little bit of diamond uh, life here in Vegas and that's honestly like I said the only reason why I like coming to Vegas is when I have my diamond status just because you know it makes you feel a little bit rich 
I'm not rich, but it makes you feel rich. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get your VIP lines and all that good stuff and a bunch of perks. But anyway, yeah. So, shortly after my phone charges up some more, um, I'm going to go out and adventure uh, for the rest of the night. It's currently like 5. So, you know, I obviously have a little bit of time. Um, the night is still young, so let's go. All right, guys. I'm at the Real Body Exhibit um, in uh, Vegas and Bally's Hotel. So you can see behind me, we got some uh, history and whatnot. So we're doing a little bit of learning, anatomy and stuff like that as I'm going through here, looking at these bodies and whatnot. Might learn something I never knew. striped um so you're actually pretty straight out here it's not bad you see a lot of people walking around still gambling and stuff so now i'm outside i'm getting ready to go uh so now the sun is starting to go down i'm getting ready to uh explore the strip a little bit and see what it's like outside but like i said inside the hotel like it's not super busy but it's a wednesday and it's honestly decent i feel like people are starting to come back out and you know kind of live the vegas life again as they were doing previously. So let's take a look and see what Vegas looking like right now. I'm not lie guys, for it to be a Wednesday is really not that like bad out here. Like it's people out here. It honestly for like for a Wednesday during the week, during the COVID, it's pretty lively. People are out, people are about. Um, you know, mask on. People aren't piled on top of each other, so it's not super crazy. Overall, you know, I would say it's like decently safe. It's not bad out here. Let me show you guys the city, see what we got, see the view. All right, so this right here is uh, the Bellagio, Bellagio. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. So, night at Vegas, it's lit up again. Uh, I would say Vegas is back to being a travel destination. Um, I think a lot of people have kind of come to terms with the whole COVID thing and social distancing, but people want to go back out and have fun. So you can see people aren't uh, scared to come out anymore. You know, people are doing their things again and going out. Restaurants are open. Pretty much it's almost like it's back to normal. You honestly can't even tell that COVID is a thing right now to be completely honest with you guys life is kind of normal right now <laughs> what's up man <laughs> hi hello <laughs> so basically vegas nightlife y'all know what the deal is i mean it's pretty much restaurants drinking just a little bit of shopping that's mainly the nightlife out here. Marijuana, that too. There's a lot of that going on. Streets smell like marijuana. Uh, yeah, clubs and all that. That's the nightlife here. Um, or just walking around and, and seeing stuff like that. There's a lot going on. A lot of people trying to sell you stuff and gimmicks, so don't get scammed out here either. I feel like this is like being in like Tokyo or something right now. Like, look how big this building is. Like, how amazing is that, that, like, freaking humans built that? That's crazy. You see some of like, the craziest, like, freaking hotels here. That, like, still blows my mind with has been built up in this city. It's quite amazing.
Alright guys, so tonight's dinner of choice is fish tacos at Margaritaville. Which if we're at Margaritaville, we're gonna have a margarita, right? So got that, got tacos, we're gonna bite it and see how it tastes. Alright, what is up guys? Day two. So today's activities I have planned is I'm going skydiving, I'm going zip lining, and I'm gonna do some indoor rock climbing. And then uh, I didn't do the Ferris wheel yeah, last night, so I'm gonna do that today as well. Um, it was kind of between doing, I was gonna do, do like uh, the uh, ATVs in the desert. I'll do that on another vlog next time. There's so many activities you can do in Vegas. I mean, like it's honestly unlimited uh, to the things that is, are available as far as having fun or entertainment wise. So I'll probably do a follow up vlog to this one, you know, talking about like five things you can do in Vegas or 10 things, something like that. Um, between the restaurants, sightseeing, all that stuff. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. Um, so if you if you want to know, like, get ideas, just go like to Groupon, click activities. There's literally everything. You want to relax, go to a spa. You want to, you know, adrenaline, adrenaline rush, do skydiving or something like that, or ATVs. There's a lot you can do is what I'm saying. But that's today's activities. I'm gonna try to head to breakfast real quick at uh, uh, Go Go A Hash or A Hash A Go Go, something like that. I've eaten there pretty much every time I come to Vegas. I'm gonna go check them out for breakfast. And then I have to go ahead and catch my shuttle for the skydiving. I did pay an extra fee so I can get video because I don't have a GoPro on me. So I don't, I don't know if, even know if you can bring one. But so total cost for the, the uh, skydiving cost $150 on Groupon. Then I added $80 video so they can record it so I can at least have some footage and proof I did it. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So overall, a little bit over 200 bucks to go skydiving, but that's what we're doing today. So join me for today's adventures, my friends. Let's go get breakfast. All right, guys, so I do not have time to eat at Hash Hash Go Go, so I'm about to find some a little bit quicker. My shuttle is picked up at 11, so I don't have really have time to sit down and order and stuff. But here's some view of Las Vegas during the day. You guys see it at the nighttime, so you know we switched up a little bit, now you get to see daytime. But let me find something to eat real quick before I go on the shuttle. A uh, little pre-skydiving meal. I don't know if this is safe or not to be eating before jumping out of a plane, but we will see. Hopefully, I held on to this. <laughs> Alright, I had a meal. wasn't the best meal, but I had to settle because I didn't have much time to really sit down somewhere and enjoy a good meal. So I kind of just set up for this little burger place, but now I'm getting ready to uh, shuttle to the uh, skydiving. So I'm waiting on them to come pick me up from the little pickup location, so now we'll be headed there. I don't know, I, I'm not, which is weird, I'm not feeling nervous yet, but I feel like I should be nervous because it's my first time jumping out of a plane into the sky. What well, could go wrong, right? Uh, but I'm not really that nervous. I just hope that me eating doesn't have any adverse effects, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, here at the airport right now. We'll be taking off shortly to do this little skydiving. Still not nervous, which is weird, but we'll see. All right, y'all wish me luck on this. Uh, skydiving venture so we got like 10 minutes before we go up and I did pay for some video footage so you guys will get to see me like in the sky jumping and I'll let you know if, if skydiving sky is something I recommend for anyone else to do <laughs> Scary at first for a second, but oh, yeah. we did it. We're here. <laughs> Ready to go again? Nah, not today. No, like, good enough. But I will oh, yeah. do it again. Right, man. Shout out to Sam. He was my instructor. We're back. We're landed. Awesome. Right on. Right on. You <laughs> didn't kill me. He tried to. It was terrifying. Yeah, it was scary for a minute, but we're here. Yeah, it was, uh, 
Yeah, you was touching me inappropriately and everything. <laughs> I, feel, I feel, feel violated. Closest I've ever been to another guy like that. <laughs> yeah, I sat him all out, gave him the best 60 seconds of his life. He loved it. All right, dude, good shit. Nice. Woo. <laughs> Quick little lunch from a place called Off the Strip. Got this giant meatball and some seasoned vegetables for lunch. Want to be a little bit healthier, so I don't want any fries or anything like that. Anyway. I'm gonna knock this meal out and then go take a nap and then we'll continue the activities. All right guys, so it is now a little bit later. Uh, sun has gone down and thank God, cause oh my gosh, it was really difficult to be walking outside when it was early, uh, early when the sun was out cause it was beaming down like really hot here. So now the sun is down, I have a couple more activities I need to do. So I'm gonna go rock climbing indoor. Uh, that goes like 10, so I have a little bit of time to do that. Probably do it for like an hour or whatever. Then go zip line, end the night with the Ferris wheel. And that's probably what I all, all end up doing. Uh, and then finding somewhere for dinner. And then that's it. You know, I've done uh, enough. This was a quick trip, but I'll definitely be back out here for more fun. If you guys want to join me in Vegas, hit me up. Let me know. I'm always down to meet new people and hang with people. So, yeah, there's that. So, let's go uh, do some rock climbing. It's fun, but like it's it's a full body workout. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This junk is ridiculous. Pray for me. All right, guys. I appreciate you uh, making it this far in this video. This pretty much concludes my Vegas vlog. But before I end the video, I do want to give you guys some uh, travel tips. I told you I was going to talk a little bit more about Caesar's Diamond status and stuff like that. So I am going to do that before I end this video. Um, and I also want to give you some travel tips on how to, like, you know, book cheaper flights, stuff like that. So total, I took five flights during this week. Um, I'm off to New York tomorrow. Uh, but round trip for all these flights is only 230 bucks. So you really can't beat that. So how do you get cheap flights? So here are a few tips I'm just going to dish off for you. One, buy your plane ticket at least three to four weeks in advance. Um, normally, you'll see a good price around that time. Also, uh, look at buying one-way tickets. Sometimes that helps to so buy a one-way ticket to somewhere and then one-way ticket back. Sometimes you get a better price. Another tip is um, choosing the airport. So a lot of times, like my closest airport to me where I live does fly to a lot of places I was going to go. Um, but the flights are a lot more, so I would go to a bigger airport that's about an hour away from me to save money. So mix up the airports is another tip. Tip number three is to uh, save money on the baggage by packing light. So pack only necessary things and pack things that fit into a carry-on. I've never paid for luggage yet. Um, I didn't pay for luggage even this time, and I only have a carry-on bag, and I'm staying a whole week. So... Uh, you know, leave out all the, a lot of times when you go to pack, you pack a lot of stuff and maybe stuff you don't need. So pack only the essentials is a tip right there. Um, I also don't mind flying, flying a budget airline. So I fly with pretty much whatever airline um, has the, like, the best price. I've flown with Spirit, Frontier, Allegiant, um, pretty much all of them. Um, never have had, like, a bad experience. A lot of people, you know, complain about those airlines, but I haven't had a bad experience other than the seats are kind of tight, but it's a short flight, so I don't mind. Um, and that's kind of really the main tips on, on flying is uh, are those four or five tips I just gave you. Anyway, so my Vegas trip, so it only cost me $10 a night in my hotel. Um, and I showed you guys the room. So it's a pretty spacious room. I could have stayed at pretty much any Caesars hotel for a similar price. I could have got a suite at Caesars for like 60 bucks a night. So to get really good prices on hotels in Vegas you need to have like Caesars diamond status so with Caesars diamond status the reason why you want that status is because number one you won't pay resort fees so a lot of times you will go online and see really good prices for uh, hotels it'll say like 25 bucks a night 30 bucks a night and that seems like a good price right until you add in taxes and resort fees and resort fees are sometimes more than the cost of the actual hotel room with diamond status you don't have to pay resort fees they waive the resort fees and you also get like 15 or 20 percent off the lowest price so you're getting you know really good deals on rooms 
um, especially if you travel off peak, which would be like during the week, you know, Monday through like Thursday, um, you're going to get an even better price because it's during the week travel versus the weekend when everyone else mainly travels. And the hotel industry in Vegas is very, very competitive because that's pretty much all that's out here is hotels. Um, along with this diamond status, you I mean you get uh, free tickets to certain shows. Like I had free in a exhibit, so I had the free tickets to Real Bodies in Bally's Hotel. I had free ticket to the uh, High Roller. I'm not. I didn't end up. I ended up not using it this time, but I'll save it for next time. Uh, you get free valet parking. You get a free hundred dollar celebration dinner once a year. You get uh, two free nights in uh, one of their hotels in Dubai. Uh, you get some free nights in Atlantis uh, or Atlantic. I forget which what it's called. Anyway, it's in the Bahamas. Uh, so there's quite a few bonuses, I mean not bonuses, but like rewards and stuff like that, um, that you can check out on Caesars uh, Rewards.com and just look at all the benefits that comes uh, with being a Caesars Diamond member. So how do you get it? So you can get become a Caesars Diamond uh, member by either earning it, so that's going to be the way, you know, you come to Vegas a lot and you gamble, stay at hotels, and then eventually, you know, you can earn that status. I've never done that because I don't come to Vegas super often, but the way I've gotten it, the first time I did was through what is called status matching. I had a high status at Best Western, and they on their um, website they allow for status matching. Currently, it's unavailable. The other way, if you want to immediately get it, is FoundersCard.com. I am currently a Founders Card member. Uh, if you go to the website right now, and Founders Card is like a membership for like kind of like entrepreneurs, and you get all types of uh, hotel benefits and uh, rental car benefits and discounts with different companies. Just go check out FoundersCard.com. It's um, and check out everything they offer, but it's a membership site, three ninety five uh, a year. But I also didn't pay three ninety five; I only paid a hundred dollars for a year membership. What I did was I signed up for a free trial, or like a yeah free trial type um uh, or preview membership, whatever. It didn't cost anything, but then they want to they'll take your credit card information, and after that free uh, review period is over, then they'll charge your card. But I canceled before that, and they would send me an email saying, like, hey, we want you to sign up. And so they sent me a, a $99 offer, and so I accepted it. So that's a little tip for you. If you want to become a Founders Card member and don't want to pay full price, you might just get a, a, a discount offer by signing up on the website, uh, cancel before your card renews, and then just wait. Play the waiting game, and um, they may send you an offer to get to win your business. But, yeah, those are my tips to uh, help you guys save some money, travel. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. And once again, I appreciate you making this part in the video. I know this is a bit of a long video. Um, probably at least like 20, 25 minutes long. I don't know because at this point I haven't actually edited the video yet. So it's probably going to be about 25 minutes long or more. Anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel with a friend, leave a comment. Uh, and next time you're in vegas or next time i'm in vegas hit me up let's link i love meeting new people and uh you know i love to hang out so yeah that's that guys until next time i will see you guys later on this day wonder journal and i will see you in new york tomorrow peace